and help us to behold him. In Jesus' name we pray. And amen. Please have your seat. Put your hands together for the Lord. Glory to God. This is our third series on Lord, here I am. Send me. I want to read our text, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twin, he covered his face. And with twin, he covered his feet. And with twin, he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Amen. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth full of your glory the whole earth is full of your glory the whole earth is full of your glory holy is the Lord holy holy Lord of hosts, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of your glory. The whole earth is full of your glory the whole earth is full of your glory holy is the Lord that's all the seraphim were singing holy 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 there is something about the holiness of god amen we are not there yet when we get to that point we will look at that praise god now in series two we looked at the face of the lion we said a seraph has there are four seraphim for what we saw in revelation chapter four the four seraphim one had the face of a lion and last week we looked at the one that had the face of a lion we said lion is the king of the forest lion is the king of animals when a lion roars virtually every beast in the forest goes into hiding and that portrays jesus as the king of kings and as the lord of lords he said behold the prince of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me he has conquered death hell and grief and has given the victory unto us i love ephesians chapter 1 from verse 18 down that says he has given him a name that is above every name not only that which is to be named in this world even in the world to come there will be no name that will be greater than the name of jesus why because that is the name of the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That name is greater than every other individual names of God. The name is greater than the name El Shaddai. The name of Jesus is greater than the name Jehovah Nissi. All the Elohistic and Jehovahistic names of God. The name of Jesus is greater than all of them. Why? Because the name Jesus is a compound name. 
it embraces all the other names of God. So instead of saying Jehovah Rapha, you just say Jesus. Instead of saying Jehovah Nisi, you just say Jesus. Instead of saying the Lord that he led me, you just say Jesus. Amen? Amen? Very powerful name. Because he's the king of kings. Amen? Praise God. Now, the second beast or the second seraph had the face of an ox. Had the face of an ox. What is an ox? An ox is basically a burden bearer. An ox is created by God to carry load. If it doesn't carry load, it has not fulfilled destiny. God created it to carry. And that's why God designed it the way it is. So that it's able to accommodate. It's able to carry load that the human cannot carry. Amen? Amen? There are levels of load that if you carry on your shoulder, it will break your shoulder or affect your spine. And then you begin to walk like a crooked person. You don't need to do that. God has created the ox. The ox is like the donkey to us that you put your animal for. That is what God created it for. God created animals for different things. You can see the camel specially designed. Nothing smooth in it, but he can carry and he can go on a long journey. The same way also he has created the ox as a beast of burden. Amen. Amen. Now, this face pointed to Jesus as the burden bearer. The Lord carrier. Amen. Amen. That seraph that had the face of an ox was designed, created that way to point to the fact that 2,000 years ago, a man would come into this world who would be named Jesus. And upon this man, all the sins of the world will be laid. Hello. Amen. Amen. Jesus went on the cross. And on the cross, the greatest load in the world is sin. Let me repeat that again. The greatest load in the world is sin. It is heavier than the weight of a planet. It is heavier than the weight of the entire universe put together. And it will take a great person to carry great load. Am I right? Praise God. Can you imagine carrying a 50 kg bag of cement and putting it upon this child? What will happen to the child? He will collapse under the weight. Amen. Or can you imagine if you have ever seen, I think at least I've, I've not witnessed with my eyes, but at least I've seen on video, I've seen on television, when an articulated vehicle, a trailer, carrying a container and falls on a car, what will happen to the car? To compress it. Because there are no match. So, it takes the greatest person to carry the greatest burden in the world. And that's just what, what Jesus came to do. That calf that had the face of an ox was pointing to Jesus. That when he comes into this world, all the sins of the world, which weighs more than any other thing in the world, will be laid upon him. And if he can carry the greatest weight in the world, tell me, what can't he carry? What is your burden that he cannot carry? Hello? What are your fears that he cannot carry? And that's why the Bible says, casting all your cares upon him. Why? For he cared for you. I remember the story of this man. I think it was Shamba that was preaching. And there was this man with hunchback. For 50 years, he was fighting God. Why would God give everyone straight back and give him a hunchback? And so he refused going to church. He did his best to be someone in life and he became a multi-billionaire. And one day, Shambach was ministering and his friend invited him. Succeeded that day in inviting him. And at the meeting at Shambach was ministering, 
He talked about Satan going around to give burdens and sicknesses and diseases to people. And for the first time, the eyes of the man, his inner eyes got open. And he said, you mean it's not God that put this load on my back? And Shabak said, place your hand upon anywhere you think you are pain. And the man slapped it and said, get out of my back. And the team moved and the man grew taller right on the crusade ground. And the whole place was a confusion. What burden has Satan placed upon you that you have been celebrating that it is your cross and it's from God? Jesus came into this world as the burden bearer. If he can carry the greatest weight of load, which is your sin, then what is it that he cannot carry? Amen? And listen to me also. Two people cannot carry the same load at the same time. Or is it possible? It's not possible. It's either he carried it or you are carrying it. And I will encourage you. Just drop it and say, Lord, this is your load. Take your load. I refuse to carry it. I refuse this burden upon my life. I refuse this fear upon my life because Satan deposits it upon us to weigh us down. And listen, when you carry a heavy load, there is no way in which you can run looking straight. Your head will be down. Amen. Let me give you a glimpse how heavy the weight of sin is. And to let you know that it took the burden bearer Jesus alone to carry it. Revelation chapter 5. I want to read from verse 1. Revelation chapter 5, I read from verse 1. It says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, not in the earth, neither under the earth, was able to to open the book neither to look thereon and i wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look thereon and one of the elders said unto me weep not behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root of david has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof verse 6 and i beheld and lo one in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts seraphim again and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god sent forth into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them herbs and vials full of others which are the prayers of saints no one was found worthy why none of them could carry the weight of sin of this world no if an angel carried it and died it will not rise up again if mary carried it and died she will not rise up again if abraham or enoch carried it and died it will not rise up again it takes someone who can die and rise up again to carry it. What weight are you carrying that he has not carried? What weight? Weight of unemployment? Weight of barrenness? Weight of sickness? Weight of being single? Weight of delay? Weight of what? Are you carrying that he has not carried? Look at John, the beloved. He wept because no man was found. But what did the elder say to him? He said, you don't know. Behold, look, consider, see, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. But it was not the lion that came. Because the person who is going to carry it must die for the sins of the world. And here came the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary there is a sweetness in the atmosphere 
Come and lay down the bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is here. As I take this song, I want you to bow your head. What burden, what is it that burdens you? What is it that troubles you? What is it that gives you fear that each time you think about it, you are so scared? In the earth, worried, will I be able to make it? Oh, yes, you will. Come and lay down the bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is here. There is a swing anointing in the sanctuary. There is a sweetness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down. The bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. I want you to lay that burden down, lay it down at your feet. You don't have the strength to carry it. The Bible says the government shall be upon his shoulders, not upon your shoulder. What is it that you are carrying that is weighing you down? That is where your spirit down. I want you to lay it down at his feet. Lay it down at his feet. Come and lay it down. The bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is in. What gives you fear? What is that thing that weighs you down? When you think about it, you just ask yourself, Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I get out of this problem? What is that load that you are carrying? Jesus, as the burden bearer, carried it over 2,000 years ago. All he wants you to do is to acknowledge he says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest he wants to give you rest this moment you can receive rest for your spirit you can receive rest for your soul you can receive rest for your body if you will only reach up in faith and say lord i acknowledge you as the burden bearer i roll my burdens upon you I roll my anxiety upon you. I roll my fears upon you. Yes, this sickness is troubling you. Yes, this need is troubling you. But I roll it upon you today. I take it off my shoulders. I take it off my life. This unemployment is troubling me. I take it off me. I roll it upon you. I roll it upon you for you are the burden bearer. You are the burden bearer. You are the one on whom our iniquities was laid upon. If you can carry our sins, there is no load that you cannot carry. There is no burden that you cannot carry. You say we should cast all our burdens upon you. Lord, we cast our burdens upon you today. We cast our fears upon you. We cast our worries upon you. Because we know that you are a loving father. We know that you are a sweet father. We know that you care for us. The Bible says, Shall a woman not have compassion upon the son of a womb? That he will not have compassion upon it. You say, no, even if they do, you say you will not. Therefore, Lord, we roll our burdens upon you. We roll our cares upon you. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you care for us. Thank you because we know that you care for us. We roll them, Lord. We roll them upon you. And we receive freedom for our spirit. We receive freedom for our souls. We receive freedom for our bodies. Yes, Lord. Let every body be rolled off. Let them be rolled off. We roll them off. Lord, as the angel rolled off the stone, the rock that was used to cover the tomb of Jesus, Lord, we roll those bodies off. We roll them off. We roll them off. We roll them off us. We roll them off us. Yes, we roll them off. We receive your peace. 
We receive your peace. We receive your tranquility. Rapashanda rabo. Reketebo sutaria. We receive your peace, Lord. We receive your peace. We receive your peace. We receive your peace. We receive your peace. I still want you to roll that burden off you. That thing that is troubling you, roll it off to the Lord. Roll it off to him. Say, Lord, in faith, I roll this burden unto you. I give it 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 unto you. I won't carry it. I'll carry it no more. I carry it no more. I carry it no more. I rejoice from this day. Yes, because I've rolled it off me. Yes, Lord. We roll it unto you. 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 Yes, Jesus. There is a sweetness in the atmosphere. Come and lay down the bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is here. Come and lay down the bodies you have carried for in the sanctuary. God is here. Oh, we bless you, Jesus. Our burden bearer. The one on whom the Father laid our iniquities. The one who carried the greatest weight in the world, which is sin. How shall you not carry the little burdens that are troubling us? Lord, in faith, we roll our burdens on you. Because you said the government shall be upon your shoulders. The government of our lives will rule upon you, Lord. And we say, reign in us. Everybody in the head of this week, we roll them, we cast them upon you. And we receive peace. We receive quietness. We receive liberty. Amen. We receive joy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you our God. Thank you, In Jesus name we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you.